So I'm continuing on painting still lives, which is very clearly um, follow on from the show that we had with Nanda Hobbs in back in November last year. The whole Corona virus, COVID-19 shenanigans have changed the landscape of um, the way that art is exhibited at the moment. So it's really nice to be able to bring people into my studio and show them what I have been working on more recently. I carry on with still lives because I really feel that you can express a lot with objects that are familiar to a person, but also introduce objects which perhaps aren't so familiar. There's another camera in here as there was in the show. This is a far more famous camera. Um, it's the camera that uh, Andy it's the camera that Andy Warhol used to take Polaroids off his sort of friends and guests that would come to visit his studio. He would bring it everywhere and people kind of like, oh, is Andy coming with his, his Polaroid camera? That's the, the, the very Polaroid camera there, which then obviously directly inspires this sort of Trump loy of um, Polaroid uh, photographs. All of these then reference works that were going to be in the Melbourne show, some of them which are here. Uh, you see the... Um, the crane, which is just up over here. We've got cherries, which again, we're going to be in the Melbourne show. So these works again, we're going to talk to each other. These are more directly just, for me, punches of color, which I'm always really excited to be able to just put color down onto a, a canvas and introduce objects into them, which then juxtapose, again, that sort of uh, human-made nature of things versus naturally made uh, nature of things. A lot of people would sort of dismiss them as sort of photorealism or hyperrealism. The term that I always used is uh, theatrical realism. And I think that's where the painterly quality sort of comes through, is in that you're presenting a piece of theatre, like a little moment, even if it's something as simple as a still life, something which is sort of elevated just above a straight observation and into a realm that you see in, in sort of classic painting of where you want to make it something special. So that's why the lighting tends to be sort of heightened and the sort of the setting is quite an unnatural setting and then also it's just a beautiful thing to be able to sit there and paint so at a certain point you can see that they are um, paintings and I think it's really an important thing to acknowledge that they are paintings because if they are then it's something that took time to make which means you can take time with it and you know sort of these days everything moves so quickly on Instagram and the digital world of where you see so many images so many images so when something's handmade and clearly handmade you're given a special permission to um, spend time with it which I think is one of the, the magical things about painting.